idea that the men should talk to the men and the women should talk to the women. Now, I can't say who had that idea first, but it sounds like a real, it sounds like ideas that would come from a woman. Now, why would I say that? Because it's a good way for women to hide from men. Women are going to let other women get away with, with stuff that men wouldn't let them get away with. So I'm pretty sure it was a woman who came up with that idea, and I'm sure it started spreading quickly through a bunch of women. And then because in the black community, you have so many men that are women led, they start repeating the same dumb thing. Because it is a very dumb thing to say that our community looks the way it is right now, and men should talk to men, and women should talk to women. No, men have to talk to men and women because of what the community looks like right now. The women cannot handle talking to other women. OK, women cannot handle talking to other women. OK, and I mean that from the general concept. Now, of course, somebody will say, well, that don't even make sense that women can't talk to women. Well, look at the black community right now. that has been under a whole lot of female leadership. They've already proven they can't handle the job. OK, so I don't have to guess. Can they handle it? I don't have to think about it in theory. The results are already in and they have proven that they cannot handle leadership in the black community. Now, is there some woman somewhere that could handle it? I'm sure there is. <laughs> but for, for the most part, women can't handle it. So men have to talk to them. But what does that also mean? We're going to have to talk to girls, too. All right. We need to get involved in some of these young ladies' lives before they even become adults, if possible. And we definitely need to talk to them while they're younger. All right. Because they're going to be doing all kinds of stuff that they've learned from their mothers. And a lot of those women are just aren't good people at the end of the day. If you have a bunch of women who aren't good people raising girls, why would we expect those girls to grow up and be good people too? It doesn't actually make sense. So anybody out here trying to promote that men need to talk to men and women need to talk to women, there's a good possibility they're just afraid of women. Won't be every dude Every dude may just believe it in his heart that that's the right thing to do. And there, there'll be guys who just believe in the heart that's the right thing to do. But if we look at the results, you cannot leave it up to women to talk to women and think everything's going to be okay. That's kind of a stupid thing right now. All right? And again, anyone who has an issue with that, look at the black community you have right now and explain to me how it's not wrong, how what I'm saying is wrong. We got a lot of female leadership that came up in the black community. Look at it. All right, now, why am I saying this stuff? <laughs> How sad of the fact that it's true? Well, somebody needs to say it. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to tell a little bit of a story here. Something that's going on in real time. All right, the young ladies that I deal with, okay, one of them has a friend. And her friend was having sexual encounters with this adult guy all right now as i started checking into the story this is what i found out to be going on so far there's a um a friend of one of the girls i deal with all right her friend her friend has an auntie okay the auntie has a boyfriend now, the auntie also have children. So who would the children be? That would be the girl's cousins. All right. Young lady is 17 years old. All right. At least at the time it happened, young lady is 17 years old. Now, I don't have the rest of the story yet. I'm going to be getting bits and pieces as I can. But... It comes out, and I, I don't know exactly how it came out yet, but it comes out that the woman, the, the young lady's auntie, that woman found out that her man was having sex with her niece, which is the friend of one of the girls I deal with, all right? The auntie was having sex with her niece. The niece is a friend of one of the girls I deal with. 
All right. Now, she was having sex with Auntie's boyfriend. Okay. Yes, y'all. She was having sex with Auntie's boyfriend. Now, of course, when the information came out, or now that the information is out, the young lady claims she was raped. Now, of course, when they started telling me what's going on, you know, the girls I deal with, when they started telling me the story, I say, okay, well, hold on for a minute because it's probably not true. All right? Yes, y'all, that was my response. Hold on for a minute because it's probably not true. Now, of course, that is not the way of uh, or women want you to respond for, for a large part. And definitely not feminists. They don't want you to respond like that. Hold on because it's probably not true. Now, why did I say hold on because it's probably not true? Well, I said it because that's what the truth is. What have I told y'all before? Whether you like it or you don't like it. But if you just pay attention, you see it all day. Women are going to lie on you and they're going to lie to you. That's what they're going to do. Now, the young ladies that I deal with, were they lying to me? No, no. They were told something and they told me what they were told. Now, did they believe the girl? Sure they did. Why wouldn't they believe it? Okay. They don't have as much experience in the world. So if someone that you cool with, you know, and they've been cool with for a good period of time, and you know, because keep in mind, y'all, these are kids. So, you know, two, three years is a good period of time for them. They're not like us as adults where you got friends for decades. No, these are <laughs> these are youngsters. Okay. So when your friend of two, three years tell you that she got raped, because she has to, she's telling her side of the story, because see, Auntie done found out her boyfriend was having sex with her niece. All right. So what do we know has happened? Obviously, Auntie confronted the niece at some particular point in time. Now, I don't know all the details of the confrontation as of yet, but of course. <laughs> so you get what I'm saying, right, Trail? You get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, Auntie has confronted Denise at some particular point, obviously. Denise does what, you know, the best thing she knows how to do in a situation like this. It's known now that she's having sex with Auntie's boyfriend. And what have I told y'all that black women care about the most? Their image. Now, this technically ain't even a black woman. This still is technically a black girl because at the time that this happened, she's still only 17 years old. All right? Now, obviously, during the confrontation, the girl claims that she's raped by Auntie's boyfriend. All right? She claimed that she raped by Auntie's boyfriend. Now, of course, I didn't believe it for a second because... As I told y'all before, if I don't know people like that, I'm not going to just listen to what they say, okay? Not no women telling me a story about a man. There's, there's no reason right now <laughs> that I should just believe some random woman's story about a man. I'm not saying I won't listen to her story. I'm not saying I won't check out, check into her story. But as a random uh, female telling me about what some dude did, that is not enough credibility amongst Black women to believe what they said. They got to provide evidence. They got to provide some proof. They got to at least give a story that sounds good. All right. And uh, this is the thing, y'all. This is the thing. So she says they do rapes them. Now, what does that tell me? Well, they have sexual contact. All right. They have sexual contact. Now, I ask, I say, well, um, if they're having sex, why is she over there in the position to have sex with him? See, now I need to know why this young lady and this dude are ever by themselves. Now, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. And I think this is something that you all should be telling the uh, the young ladies in y'all lives. There's a simple rule that I give them when it comes to them being women and being around men. I tell them they have no excuse to be around a man by themselves unless they are willing to have sex with him, period. Okay? 
there is no dude that they should be around by themselves unless they want to have sex with the dude. Period. The only way that this is is different is if it is an actual relative, or if this is a situation because you're at work and you're scheduled to be with somebody by themselves. That's it. If it's not for a job or an actual relative, you got no excuse to be alone with a dude. Period. Okay. So I've told them outside of me, there is no dude outside of your actual relatives. And and I make this clear clear to, as well. I'm not talking about people who are like a relative. I'm not talking about the person who seems like your cousin that you grew up with. I'm talking about an actual relative. I mean a person who is literally your blood relative or someone who's married into the family. If it is not your relative, you have no business being alone with a dude. Period. So now they are allowed to be around me, and I've told them, uh, you know, of a, and I've told them, period. If I don't approve of the dude, you can't be around him. 